What's going on everybody? Scott Hogan. We are here in the lab, the new lab. Going to show you how to film your golf swing. Pretty topical thing right now going on in the world of golf. All right, everybody. Scott Hogan coming at you here again. We are here in my lab. We're calling this lab 2.0 aka my garage as we are going through getting our swings dialed in we are in that self quarantine mode so hopefully everybody out there you are staying safe healthy and just enjoying a little bit of time to spend with family and just do, do some things I think that's been important for me getting some things done thinking about things and honestly doing some kind of lazy things but you know they were lazy for a purpose you know hey I watched a movie and was able to do that because I really needed to just relax and focus on something other than you know golf YouTube all that stuff so it was really actually refreshing to do that but with that said we're back at it we're gonna have plenty of content coming from here as we put this together today we're gonna talk about filming your golf swing which I think is really really overlooked with people I get swings sent to me all the time from just really random camera angles and I don't think people realize how much of an impact that has if if I'm looking at your swing from, you know, and especially if I've never seen it in in live person, how much of an impact that really has and what you're able to tell is going on. So we're going to go over that with a live view camera, show you where we like to place it and how that can affect if you don't place it correctly. And hopefully this helps you get better while you're at home here working on some things in your golf game. All right. So before we do that, make sure you click that subscribe button. It really does help us out. So really appreciate all the support we've had. We will be showing you more drills, more swing things as we go. We got 4D motion coming up. All those things we will show you so you don't wanna miss out on those. With that, let's get to showing you how to set up a camera and film your swing properly. All right, everybody, so we are here in the lab. We are going to talk about how you get the camera set up for a good analysis, okay? This is critical, especially if you're gonna be sending lessons in to anybody, but if you're just gonna look at your golf swing from you know, every single time, you need to have that camera in a similar location. We'll talk about how that works, okay? But uh, this is something I see happen on TV golf all the time. Kind of drives me nuts, but I know they're working with whatever camera angles they have available. So, you know, they gotta do the best they can. But it is a tough ask if you ask somebody to, you know, look at a golf swing from the angles they get. I mean, you really can't tell what's going on. They're just making a guess. So we're gonna use our live view camera here. Okay, so we've got that set up for you. All right, and we're gonna be looking at the angle. I've got it over here on my iPad, but a great tool to use if you're looking for your swing. All right, you can do it to a phone or anything. So. Here's what we've got when I've got the camera set, okay? So first thing is I've got this camera set behind me and it is in line with my hands, okay? I've got it pointed right at my hands and I've also got the camera at the height of my hands. Again, I'm gonna wanna be consistent in how I look at that. Now you can go out to the ball, you can go at the foot line. Your preference, it will have some effect on how the swing looks, but the main thing is you gotta be consistent in what you're doing. I prefer the hands, okay? I look to see it at their hands. That's how I've looked at swings forever. And that's just my preference. That's where I see things the best. So I try to get it on the hands and at the same height as the hands, okay? So you can see in this camera angle, I've got it right on the hands, okay? Now, what that's gonna let me do is see that, get a really clear view of that camera, and I've got a reference point. The next time that student comes in, unless they do something crazy different in their posture, their hands should be right around the same height. That usually doesn't change very much, okay? So we will go there with the position. What happens if you don't get it there consistently? Well, let's say, Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a little backswing, okay? So that would be pretty good for me. Now, if I step forward, notice how I didn't move the club, but look at how outside that club looks on the takeaway. And as I start going back, okay, let's do that again. Notice how that same takeaway, as I'm moving, 
Notice how the club starts to change its position. So a lot of times people will come to me and say, hey, am I rolling the club too far to the inside? Well, you know, you've got the camera out at the ball. If I've got the camera out at the ball and I bring it back pretty good, notice how that looks like it rolls inside. So getting it in a consistent position is very critical to analyzing your swing. That's why I like to look at the hands. If you're looking at other swings, if you're looking at professional swings, you have to look at where they have the camera set. That's very, very important as we go, okay? Now, again, why do I like it at the hands? Especially, I do that on both views. Okay, from in front, I just get the camera on the front angle. You know, if I'm coming right here, I'm going to want to get my hands in front and I'm going to get the camera again pointed straight at my hands right at about the height. You know, where that's going to have a major impact is ball position view. If you're looking for your ball position, if I've got the camera too far out in front, you know, and I've got the ball in a position. Okay, you know, it's going to look like the ball's more back in the stance than it is. Conversely, if I go this way, again, I've got the ball about middle of my stance, but because of where I'm at in the camera, it's going to look like that ball's more forward. So if you're trying to make some of those distinguish it, those, those determinations, that's going to be difficult. You know, head position, any of those lateral movements are going to be tough if you don't get that camera in the same position. So again, getting it at a spot you can look at, I like it right on the hands, going from there. All right, everybody, so that was filming your golf swing. As you can see, if you don't have that camera in the right position, it starts distorting the images. That's why I think it's always really interesting to hear analysis on TV. When you see camera angles, you'll start saying, oh, you know what, that camera's a little off. That's gonna affect how a golf swing would look. Take that into account. Again, the people on TV, they're doing the absolute best they can in some less than ideal conditions to do what they're asked. So just keep that in mind in the future, but, Make sure if you're looking at your swing, you're doing it the right way because that's how you get better faster and not take some guesses. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Leave us a comment down below. Again, we're working out of uh, some different situation here, but I actually really kind of like it. So we got a lot that we can do. We've got putting, we've got X putt, we've got 4D motion, all that. Let us know what you want to learn about. Happy to help you out. What do you want to see? We'll do some on course using the Mebo Plus, all of that. So make sure you're a subscriber. Don't miss out on any of it. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. Peace.